Hey YouTube, today we're going to show you how to make a corpse. If you've never done one before, that's okay because we haven't either. But it's probably going to be, I don't know, awesome. Like the Get ready to have your mind blown. Okay, let's go over what you'll need. You're gonna need a head. I found this foam skull in my basement. You're gonna need electrical wire, thick electrical wire. You can find it at any Home Depot. Usually on a spool, you'll pay about 99 cents a foot. You're also gonna need PVC pipe. 10 foot by one inch or three quarter inch is fine. This is cotton that's on a spool. You can usually find it at a Sally's Beauty Shop for about 17 bucks. This is a heat gun that you'll need, aluminum foil, saran wrap, and duct tape. Pipe cutters, this will be used to cut the PVC pipe and the electrical cord. This is 16 gauge galvanized wire, or if you have metal clothes hangers, those will work just as well. This is spray foam used for insulation, it's called Great Stuff, it expands and once it dries you can shave it and make guts with it. You're going to also need some wood stain and some paint, choose your own colors. Last but not least, you'll need some beer. Let's go. All right, take your electrical wire and bend it into the shape of a spine. Wrap that in your coiled up cotton and make sure you cover it with duct tape. You'll do this for the whole skeleton. Now take your galvanized wire, go ahead and wrap that in cotton and duct tape as well so you can build the rib. Now if you notice, I took a piece of the electrical wire that I'd cut previously, zip tied it to the spine to make the sternum. Now, to make your shoulders and arms, just take your PVC pipe, cut it to whatever length you'd like, take aluminum foil and wrap it on the ends to kind of make it look like bones. Drill holes and just zip tie them together with zip ties. Go ahead and feel free to zip tie that to the spine. There you go, you've got your whole upper torso. Now, we're gonna wrap it in saran wrap, take the heat gun and melt that to the skeleton, which I'm sorry, I didn't actually get footage of that. Make sure you leave yourself an access hole at the bottom. Here's where we're gonna use our spray foam, and we're gonna spray some guts in now. Now be careful because this stuff will expand about five times its size, so don't go crazy with it. We used a little bit of water to spray on there to help it dry a little bit quicker, and it worked out really well. As you can see here, it looks like guts. Now we're gonna start staining. Go ahead and put stain all over the entire front of him, and if you've ever stained wood, it's the same way. When you're done, make sure you wipe it all off. Flip them around and do the same thing on the back. We found out it's okay to go ahead and put stain on the guts and then wipe that off because the stain is so thin it gets down into all those little cracks and it really helps out the detail later. Now it's time to get dirty. We're going to paint. Take a little bit of red, a little bit of brown, mix it to your own color liking. We're going to paint the guts red. You're noticing already it's kind of starting to come together, but this isn't it. We're going to cover it with fake blood. In order to make fake blood, you're going to need clear Elmer's glue and red food coloring. Mix it to your own consistency paint that over the guts. If you notice, it's giving it a little more of a shine and it's starting to look a little more realistic. Now take your fake blood and go over his whole body, maybe a little bit between his ribs, some in his arms and his face. We want to make it look like it actually used to be flesh. Now it's time to give him a little bit of color. Now anytime you paint, you always want to work dark to light. We've already got our brown base, so we're going to take a bunch of yellow, maybe some green, a little bit of brown in there, and just dry brush over his ribs, highlighting parts in his arm. Maybe there might be a, a stretched muscle or something like that, or whatever you choose. When you're done, take your fake blood and just kind of outline his stomach area where the intestines are sticking out. This is gonna really make him start looking like he's an actual corpse. Well, that's pretty much it. We just let him dry overnight. The next day, we laid him out and just did one last tiny little coat of some of the yellow, and he's done. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. We had a lot of fun doing this. The materials that I bought for him, I have so much more left over. I could easily make two other guys out of this, so it's even cheaper than you originally thought. If I was to see him at some kind of spirit store or Halloween store, 250 bucks easily. The point is, you don't have to break your bank to have good Halloween props. Hope you enjoyed the video, and let every day be a happy Halloween.